Hi guys, this is Roger Eastlick once again with thesis2.edu.com and in this quick video I wanted to show you a new opt-in box for Aweber that I've produced or um, created for Thesis 2.0. Um, if you're familiar with Thesis 2.0 you know that there's this, this thing they call boxes which are basically uh, the equivalent of, of plugins for Thesis. Um, the cool thing about it is it lets the programmer create really nifty um, tools that a user like you guys could use to just plug in additional functionality without having to worry about any any code or messing around with any uh, even any uh, CSS. You just plug it in and go and that's exactly what I've got today on uh, this uh, opt-in box for Aweber that I'm going to show you. Um, is as simple as they come. So let's go ahead. If you've log, log into your thesis installation, I'm going to go over here to the dashboard. And then I'm going to go down here to the thesis add on part right down here. I'm going to go, go all the way down to boxes and click on that. Now I'm going to click on upload box, click on choose file. I'm going to grab my opt in box. This is the way you'll see it. Um, on the thesis2.edu webpage once you've uh, joined. Click on Add Box. It installs right away. There it is. And you'll see opt-in box number one for Aweber. Check the, the box next to it to activate and click Save Boxes. Now I'm going to go back over here to my Skin Editor and click on Skin Editor. And as you'll see this canvas pops up um, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that. By the way, don't test the form with this canvas. For some reason, it doesn't work. I'll warn you right away because I messed around with it for a while, thought it wasn't working. Pulled it up in a regular web page and it worked fine. So get rid of the canvas. Um, now we're inside of the thesis uh, skin editor, the HTML section, and down here, right here, is the new opt-in box. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that. I'm gonna shift. Shift, uh, press and hold the shift key and drag that over to the sidebar and drop it. And there you see it in the sidebar. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the gear icon. And you see the one thing, the only thing you really have to do here is to put in your opt-in variables. To do that you're going to go to open up another tab, go into your Aweber account, log in, Go to your the uh, web form section or web forms tab, which hopefully you've already created a web form for. Um, then you're going to click on the web form itself. It's going to bring up, and you're going to click over here on the publish section. Click on I will install my form. Click on raw HTML. Scroll down to the box. And if you uncheck this, you should get this right here. What you're going to want to do is grab, click in it, left click, and then grab the part that starts with div style equals display none, and grab all the way down to the, this div tag right here. Okay, right click and copy. Back over to the skin editor, over to your opt in form variables box, right click, left click paste and X out scroll to the top click on save template now if we go over and view the site you will see that you have an opt-in form right here pretty cool right it's all formatted for you it's all um, everything you know it's all set up now the cool thing about it is you can uh, change the title you can change what I'm calling the teaser, and you can change the sign, the uh, submit button text. All right, and that's all very easily done in the skin editor by clicking on that gear icon. You saw the other boxes: title of the box optional, teaser is optional, button text is optional. You can also add an HTML class in case you don't like the styling. You want to style it according to your own likes. Well, you can go ahead and put your class in there, and then set that up in the uh, CSS section of the skin editor and you'll be good to go.
So please do check out. Uh, you can get this. It's in uh, thesis2edu.com in the membership area. Um, you're going to want to go to thesis2edu.com and sign up. And we're right now I've got I actually haven't updated this, but uh, I've got a video on how to install Thesis 2.0. There's actually a quick start, um, uh, hour-long quick start guide in there. I'll show you another quick video on how to create an exportable skin, how to click, how to create a clickable header image, how to create a full-width header, how to uh, create a widgetized four-column footer, and there is a 30-day no questions asked guarantee. Seven dollars to get in right now. Um, I hope you get in soon. Price will be going up. This is Roger Eastlick with thesis2edu.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.